All right, so welcome back. Hoping you're having a fabulous day here today. Yes, Aizawa was releasing tonight. I hope you're ready for it. He is only a few hours away, but I have some last minute information that I want to save you with, and I really want to make this video. So, yes, I'm uploading it late, but I want to make sure this is out there. So, at least I saved some of you. Today, let's jump into it. If you're new to the channel, like and subscribe, it helps out a ton. Let's hop into it and let's break down everything as quickly as possible. First off, also, I never got to say it. Thank you for 24K. Absolutely insane. You all are the best. That's literally a milestone I was hoping to crack soon and we destroyed or rather hoping to crack this year and we did it this soon so hey i'll take it thank you all moving forward plus ultra roll is expiring in four hours and tw uh, two minutes pickup roll is also expiring in four hours and one minute the time changed right when i'm recording yes that's there so realize now that if you want to summon do it now if you want these banners do it now you only have a little bit of time they're going to be leaving if you have a pity here finish the pity before it goes other than that that's it simply put Will Aizawa release in four hours and one minute? No, because the game is going on for maintenance. Yes, our favorite thing that blocks us from great times and, you know, fond memories, I guess. Here we go. Maintenance is going to kick up from this time to this time again, and it's also this time to this time for CESD. So depending on if you're in these two time zones or, you know, if you have these two times, there you go. But if you're not, well, try to convert to your time uh, just using a time calculator and you're done. All right, simply put. But yes, we're getting maintenance tonight. It's going to delay the character release by a few hours, all right, like five-ish hours. Um, so realize now that around my time nine, uh, or rather midnight-ish, yeah, it's going to be pushed all the way beyond that to like mer uh, early morning in a way, correct? So make sure that is known that before going into this, it is going to first go through maintenance and then you will get the character. That's the character release. Again, plus ultra and pickup roll was scheduled to be ending once maintenance begins. So again, you have about a time limit there uh, to understand. Very simple, very easy. Make sure you're taking care of it. Simply put, right? Now, on to the character itself. I hope you know something very important. If you want to summon for Aizawa, don't summon for Aizawa. You know why? First thing you should ever do when a new character releases, and I hope this information is going to stick to your mind, go to the Change Character tab, okay? When Aizawa releases, he's going to end up in the Hero tab. That's obviously spoken, right? When he ends up in the Hero tab, all you have to do is rent the character three times, okay? Why am I telling you to rent the character three times? Rent the character. See if you like the character, right? You have to realize that people just don't like some characters in the game. It's just they don't like the play style, right? It could be Bakugo. There are people in the game that just don't like to play as Bakugo. They don't like that play style. If you do not even like Aizawa's play style, why are you summoning for Aizawa? Realize that now. You have rental tickets. Use the rental tickets before you succumb to gotcha and gambling, all right? Do that first. Now, let's say that you did the three and you're like on the fence about it still. Play as Toga and suck the blood of every Aizawa player running around and then play as Aizawa further, all right? Those are the four things I would tell you to do. Yes, keep on playing as Toga, keep on sucking their blood, uh, and then just keep on just doing it that way, all right? I am being honest here because I want you to at least test the character. There are some characters in the game that I don't like playing, correct? There are some characters. I'm not going to like spread hatred to the people that play those characters, but I'm not a Kendo player. I, I've tried my, my, my hardest to be a Kendo player. I am not a Kendo player. I will keep playing for two more years. I will never like Kendo as a character, uh, as rather a kit, rather a kit, right? Kendo's a cool character, but kit-wise, I'm not a fan of the kit whatsoever. Kirishima, right? People don't like play playing Kirishima, but it's fun. Whenever I rent Kirishima, I have an absolute blast. So you have to realize, people are different. People are different. So again, if you want to go and test them before you even roll, just use your three rental tickets, take it further, play as Toga, suck their blood, and then just decide that way. If you like the character and you're really enjoying your time, you're going to go and summon. If you're not enjoying your time whatsoever and you were considering to summon, I just saved you, right? Not every character is designed for every player, right? You might not like the character, even if they're broken and sane. You might not like the character. It might be the worst time of your life. Decide with those things, all right? Simply put. Next, when it comes down to the aspect of summoning, you have to also realize we have not probably reached a pity yet. I think most players that are free to play might have not reached a pity. Uh, currently, I'm like 300 or like 250 uh, summons behind because I haven't finished my special license. Once I finish my special li uh, special license, then I'm good to go. I'll be around 1500, but I'm still not there. If I bought the starter pack, so I'm not free to play anymore, I would be around pity by now, correct? Because it's like 40 right 40 summons uh, so about 400 tickets so i'd be around where i had to be if i beat the special pass i bought that and then you know on top of that uh i bought the license right because i also haven't bought the license yet uh realize that now so i'd be around there right i'd be around 110 uh plus what is it the uh event itself so 250 and then the you know uh starter pack i'd be around there but most players aren't around there correct so by the time this banner ends if you've already saved up everything and you're waiting there is a very high chance that you may not reach pity free to play. 
is it still worth it to pull on this banner for you? You have to think about this in the back of your head. There is no guarantee to get any of the character, all right? I have played gotchas. I have died miserably on gotchas. It sucks. It does. I have failed on banners. I have it. It, it happens constantly. So just know that, all right? When it comes to this entire thing, make sure you are aware that if you don't have pity, maybe it's not worth it to pull, all right? I'm just making that clear because what happens if you just wait for Endeavor when he releases in season two, which is one month from today, and then you pull, and then you have a blast pulling Aizawa and Endeavor both on the same banner. Let's say you didn't get Endeavor though. You just pity Endeavor, right? Because you pulled Aizawa. Potentially, if they still uh, let like Momo and Kirishima be on there, you pulled all three characters and then you pity Endeavor or you pulled two characters and you pity the third character you're looking for. You pulled Endeavor, you pity Aizawa. So many things you could do here. Again, that's what I'm trying to say. It takes a very long time. This game doesn't give us anything when it comes to summons. I'm going to be honest here. Uh, to reach a pity, it takes a very long time, uh, which really does suck, right? Literally, all we have when it comes to it is the daily system, the weekly system. That's the only, like, concurrent way. Yes, there's events, but it looks like the third event of every season isn't giving you summons. So we're really stuck with whatever we have uh, to be those, like, standard things. So again, we also, by the way, we have an event kicking up, a, a brand new event. It's going to give you a lot of summons, apparently. How many summons, though? We don't know the number. We don't know the quantity of summons. It could be a great event that gives you, like, three multis. If that's the case, it's going to push a lot of free to plays to actually reach the pity, you know, theoretically. Again, if they're not reaching pity, maybe you shouldn't pull. If you still want to pull and gamble away, be my guest to it. But don't be mad afterwards if you don't pull the character you're looking for. And, you know, you waste those summons in the way of they didn't get you anything. Correct? Again, want to make sure that it's clear. Um, I am hoping to see, you know, that they do good here, but we'll have to we'll have to see. I think that again, the game still has a very hard pity to manage uh, or reach. There is no way that it, beyond dailies and weeklies to actually get the polls. Uh, so again, and realize we had a boost this time. The license, the special license, that's only a one-time thing per the life of the game, correct? And that special license had like what four or five multis in it. So because of that kind of theory, it, the game is going to take a very long time to reach pity uh, from this point onwards. So maybe saving for Endeavor is the better idea, which is four weeks away. In four weeks, most likely, you will definitely reach the aspect of getting the character. Because again, 40 days alone is already 40 pulls, right? Yeah, you see that now? Uh, so waiting might be the better thing. But if you can ma manage pity uh, before Eyes uh, leaves, then just go for it. I'm not going to stop you. But um, if you want to summon uh, regardless, do it. You might get lucky. You might win. You might get the character you're looking for. Again, that's just my 10 cents. Do what you will with that information. I might wait. I probably will wait. Um, but if uh, again, if, if you want to go and spend money in the game, there really isn't anything worth it to spend money on, uh, theoretically, right? The shop is very expensive. So if you're, if you're planning on spending money, you better be only planning to spend like one multi uh, worth, right? Which is, again, look at it. 1300 which is one multi, is 25 bucks. Now, two multis, correct? It's around here because it's 1200 per multi. It's $45. I got to spend $45 USD to get it. That's a lot of money. And that's saying that I only need two multis, right? Let's say I need four multis. I got to spend 100 bucks basically, right? It's a lot of money. So again, plan what you want to do. If you want to go and buy the starter pack before the banner uh, arrives, do that. The starter pack's actually value. $30 for four multis. The season pass for free if you already didn't purchase that. Again, Bandai, can you please fix that? Like if we purchase the, the, the starter pack and already own the license, you should give us a refund. Kind of how it works in every game, but okay. Um, but yeah, then it also gives you free uh, character, uh, what is it? Uh, emotes, skins, and all that stuff. So if you want that, just know that that is there uh, to give you 40 pulls. Again, just quick 10 cents. With that being said, I'll catch you in the next one. Have fun, stay safe, everyone. Peace out and enjoy. Some quick little last minute information I want you to know before the character releases. Pretty simple. And yeah.